In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Bless Joel and Gypsy. And all the aliens that have visited the ship. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. When you've got a job like ours, you have to believe in a higher power. 30 seconds to commercial sign. And God bless Data and his really cool robot named Lol. And R2-D2 and all the extras in Westworld. And RoboCop, even though I thought he got a raw deal, but it's really none of my business. Oh, and all those early versions that were just there for comic relief. And uh, Ed-209, though I don't know why they'd make a robot that can't walk downstairs. Uh, and God bless Cherry-3000. Oh, yeah, and God bless Galaxina. Okay, and who else? Oh, Do we have to? I don't want to. I'm not. Yeah, you have to. Okay. God, God bless Tweety. Commercial sign in five, four, three, two. Commercial sign now. Amen. My name is Alan King, comedian. Ever wonder how the comedy mind works? Science says it's open 24 hours, and he says not in a row. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm laughing. <laughs> hey, Joey. I don't know, kid. Go put on your own show. Well, who wants to see two comedians talking? Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind. Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern on CTV, the Comedy Network. Finally, the world premiere talk show that's as bad as you want to be. You know that life sucks after 18, you know that? After Drive, weeknights at 9.30 on CTV. Now you can get Gettysburg from Time Life Book's monumental series, The Civil War, for just $4.99. I'll be back to tell you how. Over 125 years ago, Americans took up arms and killed each other. In The Civil War from Time Life Books, You'll read why our country went to war against itself. You'll understand the cause and see the effects on the field and on the home front. Beginning with Gettysburg, yours free to examine for 10 days to keep for only $4.99. And with your purchase, receive the Civil War Almanac, a day-by-day -day account of the Battle of Armies and the War of Wills. You'll see how ideas pulled triggers. I'd rather be dead and see them Yankees rule. It was our Civil War. Americans killing Americans at Bull Run, Gettysburg, Shiloh. A war fought on many grounds, refought for you here, where you'll come face to face with first-hand accounts, maps, photos, and more that cut to the heart of a war that cut both ways. The union of these states is perpetual. Our separation from the old union is complete. So North and South met in fire and fury. Get both sides of this great and tragic story in Time Life Books, Civil War. Call now for your free examination of Gettysburg. If you decide to keep it, pages $4.99. That's $10 off the regular price. Other books will follow about every other month on the same free examination. Buy only the ones you want, cancel any time. 
So dial this toll-free number now. We're waiting for your call. I'm, I'm Jack. Jack. Benning. Weekdays at 1.30 on, uh, um... Come on, we have to pray for them. If we can pray for them, we can pray for anybody. I don't want to pray for the mad scientist. Yeah, Joel, why do we have to pray for them? Well, I think they're watching and they control my oxygen. We don't want you to pray for us. We want you to pray to us. Isn't that right, Frank? Don't look at me! I said never look at me! Mommy! Mommy! Frank, ah. Calm down. It's time for the invention exchange again, Joel, and we'll go first because we've got a party to go to later. Well, this summer's fashions cry out with jubilant two-inch armor plating, saucy turrets, and shells aplenty. You can really clear the beaches this summer with our new tank tops. That's right. The best beach party ever was the one at Normandy. Beach blanket bingo is now beach blanket bombing with the latest in fashion artillery. That's right. Shelling on the beach takes on a whole new meaning. Get in position, Frank. Ready, aim, fire. Now, let's see how we've done. Hey, wait a minute. I can hear the war. Oh, knock that off. Oh, now look at, look at here. It. Look, there's still a little red. I'm sorry, I can't give you the bear. Why? Well, what do you think, Joe? Boy, we sure think differently, yeah. thank goodness, you know. You know, you guys took something fun and made it evil, whereas I took something evil and I'm making it fun. Check it out. It's the tickle bazooka, all right? Wow. It's for those times when just a normal tickle isn't enough. Huh. I based it on the premise of what the pundits, Fireside Theater, once spoke. Fighting's out of style. Fun's where the fear is. Yeah. See, it's got a... Uh, Feather bayonet for hand-to-hand -hand tickling. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, cut it <laughs> okay. Out. And then if you really want to have some big blast of ballistic hilarity, there's the mirth mortar. Let me show you. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Brace yourself. Head for cover. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that is so neat. We could base a whole party around that. We could all get in our fuzzy feety pajamas and jump up and down on the bed. <laughs> Look, the only party we're going to is the one where we dance on your grave. Oh, will I be invited? You'll be the guest of honor. <laughs> now, tell them about the movie. I gotta get out of this thing. I'm chafing like a bear. Well, Joel, this week's movie is called Catalina Caper, and it is delightful. It's a veritable feel-good movie, a light-hearted romp, a triumph of the human spirit. Thank you, Tommy Kirk, for making us laugh about love. Again. And it's got a great theme song. You're going to love it. Never, ever, ever sing We have fun. Huh. Great. What, what kids? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. What's wrong with this guy's feet? He has prehensile toes. What do you suppose frogmen's legs taste like? Uh, like San Diego chicken legs, <laughs> probably. Mm -hmm. You may still a kiss. It's hmm. permissible. You can turn it. So, uh, what's in the can? I think it's uh, dehydrated water. Oh, oh a scuba film. Hmm, Jacques Cousteau meets the Pink Panther. By this time, my... Hey, come on. Huh? No, it's it's not okay. So, what's a Catalina caper? Uh, it's one of those little balls you find when you're eating peeling each shrimp. Sorry, Charlie, only the best titles are here. Starring Tommy Kirk, why must Spock die? You may still it hard. Oh, Robert Donner. I went to his party. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what she's harping on about. <laughs> hey, who's this guy? Jim Beg, Sue Casey, Lyle Wagner, Mike Bludgeon. Nice measurements. 36, 2, 85. <laughs> I 
think that fish is going to spit up again. Who's afraid of Benito Wolf, anyway? <laughs> Still shaggy, little Charlie, they cut off my thumbs. Special guest star Peter Mamakos. You're not a seal. Oh, Little Richard. I've heard of him. He's not as famous as Peter Mamakos. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's playing a trick on that fish. Oh, yeah. Feel good about kicking a fish's butt. That's real nice. Crime doesn't pay. You can both love your way. Screenplay written in crayon. What's Clydeware? <laughs> Sal Mungio, Rebel Without a Gauze. Still anything wet. Still anything wet. It's a bowling show, doesn't it? Never ever. Here's something you really like. Shalom. Still anything wet. Look out. Wow, that is really good animation. Now I'll set fire to the Walt Whitman books, then I'll burn the pile of ketchup in our eyes. Come on, you ho-daddies, let's burn some books. Yoo -hoo. Burn the witch, burn the witch. We shall cleanse the earth with fire. Well, these clan meetings have really lightened up. Look at that. Now that's what I call our scantily clad women and a Huey Lewis news sound on the radio. This is the kind of padding I like to see in a film. Throw another beach boy on the fire. Whoa. And so the white Aryan youth dance around the funeral pyre. You know, this is really good sound, and it was before Dolby. Uh, Dolby Gillis? <laughs> I don't know. Meanwhile, in the dark, impenetrable void, John Paul Sartre was a moving and a grooving. No exit, baby. Oh, looks like they're uh, in the night gallery. This portrait, a man who smokes more than Edward R. Murrow or Lillian Hillman. I'm William Conrad for First Alert. When you're heading down to the refrigerator and the power goes out... <laughs> yeah, it's Steve Higgins. What, oh, you mean the star of the Higgins Boys and Gruber yeah. is seen on the comedy channel? Yeah. Wow. This must be Tommy Kirk's Oscar. He's so good that they, they gave it to him before they started the film. He beat out Troy Donahue and Frankie Avalon. Huh? Yeah, I beat out Dom DeLuise and James Coco for this role. Now beat it. He's looking for that string quartet. An original red skeleton. That's incredibly valuable. Good night. May God bless. This painting is blue. Don't work blue in such a way. I'm going to put this in a frame that fits. Gee, it looks like a garage rag. Sim security. I'm the one who cracked that crime at one potato, too. I beat out Al Molinaro and Jesse White for this role. Oh, that's a family circus. Oops. From Hank Oops. Ketchum's Bill Keen collection. Looks kind of like a Reuben. What, Paul Reuben? I mean, Pee Wee Herman? No. <laughs> Tommy's Oscar. Oh. Well, I did the same thing to his Pulitzer. Huh? Hmm? What? Hmm? He's putting it together. Oh, relax. They'll just think it's a Rothko now, see? Yeah, it's just, it's just... Mondrian, perhaps. Boy, that's a big whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you? You just put your lips together and cut to the bow. <laughs> Bangkok, Oriental City. Oyana Scott's life out of balance. You know, this film is a fantasy because you generally don't see cabs in Southern California like this. <laughs> America's fastidious and well-groomed youth living a clean lifestyle, pumping their clean, hard-won dollars into a clean economy that is sunny, colorful Catalina. Hmm. Higher island? Hey, look at this. White people voted the best people in the world. Young white male still on top. NEA denies Bill Keen Grant. Oh, it looks like Brutus and Popeye after Slim Fast. Yeah, Olive's standing right behind him. Hmm. Not bad. What's that supposed to mean? I'm going on board, Bob. I know. I'll see you later. I can okay, see it sir. in your eyes. Mother! Charlie Baby's come back to the nest. Welcome home, delinquent. Oh, thanks, but we're felons now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Draper. School must have assigned you as keeper. 
John Pringle. <laughs> Heir to the potato chip breath. fortune. Never seen the big water before. I figured uh, somewhere on the island put a little juice in the old battery. <laughs> I think you'll like it if you can take him. I did. You should have seen him coming up the coast. I don't think they sell bikinis in Arizona. <laughs> well, they sell them. But I never saw so many trying to cover so much with so little success. <laughs> Thank you, Winston <laughs> Churchill. I felt the same way myself. It only gets better. Say. Uh, talk about mm. discouraged. Mm. Have you seen the new crop? And Fine my corn meat. is as high as an elephant's <laughs> eye. Decisions, decisions. I've seen three exactly my type. Yeah, real dog. Look, somebody stole another There's painting. The final boarding whistle. Yeah, we'll dig you later. I'll be around if only to keep you guys out of trouble. <laughs> I love this good-natured ribbing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you suppose this guy's up to? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. I don't believe it. You saw Big Jake. <laughs> Here, let me help you up with that. Say, that gangplank really gave you what for, friend. <laughs> he should okay. wear a truss. Cue the made-for-TV music. Oh, exciting and new. <laughs> yeah. Smell that air, huh? Take a look around. Yeah. Air, water. Air, water. You're pretty observant there, pal. provided far more exhilarating diversion below deck. I didn't know you were holding my compadre. I made a mistake. Maybe you're not ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think the forum will be good for me. I plan the agenda. In Phoenix, you showed me all the ugly glories of Gila monsters and cactus and pants. I'm Catalina. Believe it, man. I am team. Surfing. Girl. Big game fishing. Girl. Scuba diving. God. Girl. It sounds like Kirk Gallagher, doesn't it? Or Hugh Hefner. Charlie Moss. <laughs> I'm in your capable land. All right. And we start the summer with a bang. Like we start right now, below deck. You mean deck. Let me breathe a little bit. Huh? Huh? I've been driving all night. Breathe, live, if Mohammed won't come to the mountain. <laughs> so I think that's inappropriate social behavior. Excuse me. i got to go invent the walk now. After this. CTV presents Poker, Bilko style. Poker? Oh, is that anything like old maid? You're in with Sergeant Bilko today at 4.30 on CTV, the comedy network. After Steve died, God sent him back as a blonde. Now, a guy who used to use women is finding out firsthand that was no way to treat a lady. Oh. Ellen Barkin, C. Blake Edwards' newest comedy. Switch. Have a nice day. Jimmy Smith's Rated R starts Friday, May 10th at a theater near you. Larry Zonka, three straight Super Bowls. After that, he went to see sports personalities, as well as our own team of sports instructors, help host Norwegian Cruise Line cruises. No other cruise line has such an all-star lineup. The pleasure ships of Norwegian Cruise Line. The best vacation you've ever had. Plus contact with someone like number 39, Larry Zonka. This is an important message for U.S. veterans discharged after 1940. Whether you served during peacetime or war and are currently age 50 to 69, call this toll-free number now for free, no-obligation information about a veterans-only term life plan that costs just $1 a week. These veterans' life insurance benefits are guaranteed never to go down, and they are available at the guaranteed rate of just $1 a week. There is no waiting period. Benefits are paid from the first day of coverage. Call this number now for free information about this dollar-a-week veterans-only life plan. Remember, only veterans, their spouses and widows, age 50 to 69, qualify for this offer. Term life insurance for one dollar a week. Don't wait. Call this toll-free number now for free information from Veterans Life Insurance Company. Here's the kind of mind-bending question you can expect from Clash. How many wedgies were you personally responsible for in high school? Oh, Clash. Weeknights at 7 on CTV. And so I want to join the forum. Hey. Hmm. Nice railing. May I retouch?
tie your pants? It was quiet out here. It was quiet. What an idiot. I've never seen the ocean before. Oh, then you've missed much. Yes, it's only 75% of the Earth's surface. Yes, I have. There is a whole world in this world, and there is life. All sizes, shapes, and colors. Gibbs. Huh? Sure could get hung up on it tomorrow night on the beach. Yes, I'm well, hung up on that. it right now. Help in me. I dove into the sea and began swimming underwater. And there was this small fish. She's beautiful. He wasn't Joel. afraid of me at all. Hey, was she in the movie David, David and Lisa? For the longest time. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty. Fishing boat ahead frightened. And I never saw my little friend again. <sighs> You know, there's a psychiatrist on board. I think How he could be really help you. For the weekend, perhaps longer. Why? Great. Because would you like to go swimming with me? With me at 87 and Rod LaRoche? Oh, that would be wonderful, but I'm afraid that... Don, baby. Go get Say. Hey, we're done with the forum. We're druids now. I'm the truth. I can't help whatever it is I do to them. Come on. Let's go. Hmm. I'd like to make their scene, but they're a little weird and... Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come here, little fishy, fishy. Hey, let's dig Little Richard and really turn it on. Little Richard? I hate impressionists. Oh, you're thinking of Rich Little. Oh. Now, pay attention, guys. This scene is obviously really important to the film. This is Little Richard. Baby, 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 come along with me. Uh-huh. We're gonna poop the dive in the deep Dig this. Now grab your tank and grab your gear. Prince, I hope you're watching this. Now come along with Hey, we have a chair downstairs with that upholstery. Uh, it looks like a coffin lining. We're gonna dive in and swim all about Hey, get the funk out of my face. Come on. Uh, really nothing we can say about that, is there? It's not during family hour. Hey, look, it's Alan Seuss. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Let's get a seesaw. Hmm, I think I know a bright young singer that's popped up on goofballs right now. Is he in this scene? Yes. yes. And his head's about ten feet tall. Hmm, Jeez. I like the pencil thing mustard. Okay. Hey, oh, that's his shit. band. Great. Next we'll see Sly Stone with the uh, Up With People problem. Right? Ike Turner with the cow seals. It'll all be in tasks. James Brown and the Starland vocal band. Maybe? Yeah, George Clinton with the Ray Conniff singers. <laughs> like this, Mr. Richard? How's this, huh? Is there a history of epilepsy in your family, boy? You know, he's so hopped up... Uh, I think he's thinking he's at the Apollo or something. I like him. Hey, it's Ron Howard's brother. Man. 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 Hey, whoa. Looks like Cousin It with a bob. A swinging bob. Mm-hmm. Little Richard, the only genuine talent in this film. You know, those dancers are standing on dumpsters. Would that make them white trash? Um, I'm glad we recycle. The Nazi party! Everybody! You know, I'm feeling like we were at the dance thing and laughing, kind of. Ah, Well, you were great. Now leave. Out the back door. Well, it's just us, Timmy. When you graduate from Pat Boone University. So Falco leaves the Calypso. And another painting is stolen. Is this where they filmed the boat next? That looks really familiar. Now, local news. Police investigation failed to turn up new clues. And My skull is an amplifier. Of the priceless Chu Dynasty scroll from a private Los Angeles museum. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I'm proud, man. But police remain stumped at this point. The search uh. continues. Hey, you got puke on my radio. Oh, you got radio on my puke. Actually, I think he's uh, working on a new script. He must be the screenwriter. Yeah. Make a... Oh, magic balcony, take me away from this kooky crowd. I'm the white guy who runs this ship. I can take out this whole crowd if I wanted to. I'm that powerful. Disperse. 
It's time to vacuum the pool, I think. Hey, you got room for one more extra? Wait for me. <laughs> well, they've got a fat, dumpy guy in this already. Oh, sorry. They're diving for chum. <laughs> got it! Got it! Yeah. Got it now! Jump him up! Petticoat hey. Junction! <laughs> Gives. He's the guy with the implant. Carol? Uh, Carol? Uh, Carol? Okay. Harvey? Carol? How's your little fish? We have a proper love. I got your stick, Mr. Luthor. Oh. No, would you give me that? Sorry. Too tired to even do one of my famous crap balls. I'm, I'm all hurting it. I'm hot and hurting and stuff. Well, now, guys, just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. <laughs> Crete, ancient civilization. Mykonos, modern civilization. Uh. Hmm. Mel Brooks, Ann Bancroft, and Tom DeLuise in Boatniks 2. Oh, shut, shut up. up. Lawrence, you're, we're really proud of you. You're a credit to your profession. Village idiot. <laughs> I do the best I can with what I've got. Which isn't a whole hell of a lot. Let's go downstairs now, sure. Uh, Dad is low. I'm afraid our son wouldn't approve of our... Your son? What is this? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> I know what you mean. It's not your son, you George. just can't trust a kid who don't follow baseball. Or trust a guy with a dumb it's Crayola it's hat. Yeah. Hey, it's filled with M&Ms. Mm, neat. Long ones. Well, let's see here. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees in this. What's Desiderata? What do you think, Ed? It's a Howard Johnson placemat. I don't think you won the riddle contest. Well, with the equipment we had below, it shouldn't take long. Say. I should have the duplicate finished in less than 24 hours. She's something. We're a great little team. Oh, shut up. Yeah, not enough for an infield, but it's the William Burroughs figurehead. Even they make me sick. Hey, why two? Hmm. One for the genuine, one for the duplicate. One for the little girl who lives down the lane. Small dog Jody Foster? Case yeah. will avoid confusion. Boy, now we know the entire everything. plot. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you contacted our fat Greek pigeon yet? Hmm? Friend Lakopoulos arrived he's last night. He's the topolis. You know, I hear he's got a whole castle filled with stolen art treasures stashed away in Switzerland. Yeah, it's Popolis. How come a millionaire like Dino Lakopoulos wants to be a crook? Because he's in Scropolis. One needs a profession to procure one's taste, Lawrence. Oh, I see. Yeah, First, we like show him the picture. Oh. He okays it, right? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Then we slip in the phony scroll that you're going to paint tonight. Mm -hmm. Then Donald goes in where the others have been. been. Then you'll return the original to its rightful owner. Uh -huh. oh. And then return that now shirt that to Robin like Williams. Yep. I mean, how come we can't keep it? We certainly can't keep it. That would be dishonest. No. Well, the deal we're pulling on Lacopolis ain't exactly kosher. No, yet. hold the mail. Uh, not quite the same. Lacopolis is a proud thief. That's the only way he'll do business. It's expected one will try to cheat him. Like Nixon. Arthur, you've outdone yourself this time. Why, you're simply glowing with him. That sweat. Ah, oh, dear, I'm really very proud of you. Thank you, dearest. I must admit I do have a flair for this sort of thing. Alcoholism? True, true. <laughs> Betty won't fall. Oh, well, we better beat it, guys. Mm. Beat one head. <laughs> that kills me. Joel, could you tell us about this thing called the 60s? Yeah, I'm amused and fascinated by such an environment that the beautiful, creepy girl existed in. Well, I was just a little kid when it happened, but I could tell you guys what I remember. Okay. Well, yeah, you're so much older than you're younger than that now. 
Yeah, yeah. whatever, Crow. Anyway, Kamba, could you run that music? Yeah, cool. Hey. Okay. Well, it was a lot simpler time back then, you know? Like, I'll give you an example. Like, it wasn't uncommon at all for your mom to come and serve you a great big charbroiled steak while she smoked and wow. uh, drank a tab and made a, your dad another Manhattan for the road. And that was just breakfast. Oh, go on. Yeah, there were seatbelts in cars, but Sucks. nobody used them. Pre-sweetened cereal, subliminal messages. Sucks. People smoked openly on The Tonight Show. Hey, uh, tell us about the Rat Pack again. Oh, okay. Well, as you know, uh, Frank Sinatra was chairman of the board, and everybody else filed on in line, except for Jerry Lewis. He had had a falling out with Dean Martin, and uh, they already had chosen Joey Bishop to be their comic relief already, so he was kind of out of luck. But Dean was tall and tan and quick with a song, and he just had to say the word, and cuckoo chicks would file on up to the hospitality suite and massage Peter Lawford's neck and make everybody groovy drinks while they took important phone calls from places like Palm Springs and um, the White House until Turn me it on was time man. for Frank Sinatra, the chairman of the board, to come Ooh. out of the sauna and he'd say the words and the dollies would go take a nap. Uh, some little messages. Oh, uh, t tell us about the rabbits, Joel. Yeah, that's the rabbits. a good one. Okay. Meanwhile, in the Windy City, um, Hugh Hefner was cooking up his own groovy scene in the aptly yeah. named Playboy Mansion. Oh, wow. Okay, there was George Kennedy and George Hamilton and Tony Curtis and Bill Bixby were all huh? in his court. Sophisticated men who knew their racket. I and think you're swinging swingers. in the oh. eye. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, there was um, like Twiggy and Abby and Peter, Paul and Mary, Dion, Donovan, uh, uh, Melanie, uh, uh, Abraham, Martin, and John. So they just went by their first names like that? Yeah, like you, Crow. Hey. And there were typewriters, but nobody used them. And women were called girls. Wow. And businessmen wore double-breasted suits, had double chins, drank double bourbon, straight no oh. chaser. Before, during, and after Come important ass. business meetings and uh, summit talks, everybody I'm believed what the president said. Why shouldn't they? Sitting. Sexually oh, provocative well. humor wasn't on TV. It was on cocktail napkins, and oh, we nice. liked it that way. Toys had metal edges and little uh, pieces that were breakable and would fit into your mouth. They would take no, and make a playground equipment out of stainless steel then haul it up on the asphalt where you could get hurt. Parents were actually told to spank their kids. Well, my mom actually made me go and get the belt, you know, in front of company. And that was really frustrating because once they made me take a bath in the front yard. Why can't you be like everyone else and just remember the good things about the 60s? Yeah, like Woodstock. Oh, the Woodstock, great. Okay, no, Joel, you can't go to Woodstock. You're nine years old. We're going to the opening of the new Century Store. Oh, yeah, on Echo Lane. Three days of peace, love, and pizza rolls. We're uh, going to buy you a shopping people, cart Joel's for your birthday, Joel. Oh, boy, we'll be Peter right from Axe moved freely among men. They were. T oh, did I mention there were drugs at that time? Yeah. And then... If you like your comedy up close and personal... Oh, cool, my parents are thrilled about that. Then welcome to the club. Party! I'd rather pass a kidney stone. <laughs> oh, it's coming to me. Join host Will Schreiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America's Funniest Comics. Any hecklers? The best of the U.S. Comedy Festival. <laughs> Two drink minimum. Saturday at 6 on CTV. <laughs> For my family, Tartar Control Aquafresh bites tartar. It makes you feel this fresh. Tartar Control Aquafresh helps remove plaque. It makes you feel this fresh. Tartar Control Aquafresh bites cavities. It makes you feel this fresh. Only Tartar Control Aquafresh is the fresh way to fight cavities, fight plaque, and fight tartar. All with one great Aquafresh taste. Tartar Control Aquafresh. It fights tartar. And makes you feel this fresh. It takes desire and dedication to break out of the mold of an average body. General Nutrition Centers can help you break the mold. With Joe Weider's Victory Mass Kit, with four nutrient-dense supplements to help max your tough workout, an $85 value, now only $49.99. Joe Weider's Victory, the choice of champions. GNC, the authority in sports nutrition products. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. 
So call this free number to find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have prepared for new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home, in your spare time, you can get your diploma or your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, child daycare, computer programming, electrician, veterinary assistant, medical dental office, bookkeeping, legal assistant, interior decorating, gun repair, art, learning the personal computer, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call now for the free information Sally Struthers spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better job or career to make more money. Call 1-800-637-2000. There's no obligation and no salesman will visit you. Call 1-800-637-2000. Call now. Guessing here, but I'll say Bernie Kosar. You have a Willis Reed limping out of the locker room? Petey Rose worked in a hair salon. Bakai. Bolster. Heyman, Sports Monster, 6.30 Eastern, Saturday. Yeah, and the only shoes they had were PF Flyers and Keds, and that Joel, was it. Nothing, no pumps, okay, no nothing. Okay, okay, Joel, okay, you can cool it now. You okay? Hey, look at the prow on that steamer. <laughs> Let's climb aboard. Whoa. Boy, mate. Hello, Betty. Yeah, that's one of my chicks. Turn to! Turn to! Turn to what? The Comedy Channel. <laughs> little promo there, gang. <laughs> Hello. Hi, show. Hello. Hello. So we have breakfast at the club, dear? That would be nice. I wet myself. <laughs> Ooh. Thank goodness this briefcase is a personal flotation device. Oh, I love that trombone. Welcome to White Island, acting like we deserve this kind of lifestyle. Only the best looking girls get to be starfish. Chuck, it's great to have you home. Hey, it's great to see you. What? What's your name? Hi. Want to trade hair? <laughs> sure made the scene out there. It's all your fault. You weren't supposed to be here until tomorrow. We finished our exams and split a day early. Hey, Mom how are dad? things in the oh, fatherland? Oh, I hung up on the mainland for a couple days. Yeah, Mom got hung up on the tennis pro at the club. This must be Don Pringle. You named it right, Miss Bunny. Hi. I understand Hi. your ruffles Welcome have bridges. Welcome to Catalina. <laughs> Chuck mentioned you were coming in his last letter. We'll try to make your summer as eventful as possible. Oh, wow. Well, I'm prepared to defend myself against anything you might have said about me, if I have to. He said you were a jerk. Something tells me apologies are in order, Miss Bunny. Miss oh. Bunny. Now, Mikhail, what the hell are you doing? That guy looks like uh, Ralph on Green Acres, doesn't he? Are you folks all right? Oh, yes, yeah, sure, we're fine, fine, all except my assistant. He's a little wet. I left him on board. I'm awfully sorry. That was pretty stupid of me. Oh, think nothing of it, young lady. Those you are blonde, blonde I'm Arthur Duval. This is my wife, Anne, our son, Tad. Charlie Mark. My sister, Tina, and this Tad is Don Tad Jean. Tad Jean. Tad Tad Alice. Stop that. Isn't that the Sloan's yacht you're using? Uh, yes, matter of fact, it is. Oh, the Sloans. We met the Sloans in Monte Carlo last season. Charming people. When they learned about so spend the summer here at Catalina, they insisted that we have the use of their yacht. Yeah. Is this your first trip here? Well, yes, we haven't had much opportunity to visit your little uh, treasure island. <laughs> However, we are interested in learning all there is to know about treasure, aren't we, Anne? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just became a Mormon. I'm with you, Miss Bunny. Miss Dad, why don't you Bunny. come along? We're going to split with the boat for some scuba diving. Oh, but of course. Oh, that's a very kind invitation. Tad's been cooped up aboard ship since we arrived. Tied to a man. Give you a chance to enjoy yourself, son. Meet some people your own age, like Miss Bunny here. Get away from your infeminate father. Man. Live a little. No, thanks. Next time around? Not nearly enough beautiful women for me. Dad, could I see you for a minute? Certainly, son. Uh, excuse me, dear. I'm going up to the hotel to get another sun hat. You know, Dad, what is it, Mom's Dad? really hot. Dad, 
Why did we come to Catalina? Came to enjoy ourselves. Why? Whenever you and Mother come to enjoy yourselves, it means you're involved in some kind of a shady deal. Well, I know you've been hanging around with that Dave Delgado guy. To the quick. I'm glad your mother isn't here to listen. When you talk like that, I know you're up to no good. And when you smell like that, what somebody must die. What kind of shady deal could we possibly be involved in on a small island like this? I don't know. Yes. But whatever it is, you and Mother are right smack in the middle of it. Ted, I give you my word. Your yeah. mother and I are here on a holiday and for no other reason. Yeah. Now I'm starved. Let's get something to eat. Yeah, and when you give that take to the camera, what do you expect? Oh, my dad, I love him so. Uh-oh, hold it, you guys. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Yeah. Now, just let yeah. it play out. I want to get all the great humor in it. Get rid of laugh. Get physical comedian. So much time. Heck of a walk from the mainland. Oh. And, and then it gets funny, right? Mm. Uh-huh. Oh, well, maybe now. Is that the funny part? Cool. I guess. This is the place. Okay, Miss Bunny, drop the anchor. I already did. Wow. Oh, we need a new shower curtain. What's the imagination? I don't have one. Ever do any diving, Don? Oh, yeah. Diving, right? <laughs> University. Not quite. Thanks. There's a trick to it. Just remember one thing. You'll be underwater. Breathe normally, but through your mouth, not your nose. Bottoms up. He's always saying that. We don't know why. Hey, it looks like a gas. You'd better use the ladder. Oxygen. I'm on the diving team, remember? Congratulations. Now I'll use the ladder. <laughs> but I said I was on the diving team. It's the Pueblo. So I just keys. Hmm, very interesting. But stupid. What is it, Mr. Lacopolis? Let me have a look. Don't get excited, Foreman. Too young for you. That isn't fair. You keep your mind on the Say. business. I'll take care of everything else. An exchange student. My contact student. to Duval. Now, Barbara, buff my head. Unfortunately, Duval is a thief. A clever one. Remember that. You must trust no one and be very careful. The and remember something is else, too. An object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted happen? upon by an unbalanced force. Now, get out. Much better swimmer. He is also my only sister. Doesn't sound very Greek, boy, does he? And a very stupid one. You are the purported art expert I can replace. Okay, Daddy Tell Warbucks. This friend, Borman. I promise you a long walk home. Then I'll kill you again. Should I go put the horse's head in my bed again? Hi, Kaiser Wilhelm, you kooky monarch. <laughs> Metopolis is still out there. Hmm. Yeah. Is that your hand? You know, I'd give a month's pay to know why he's got such a sudden interest in California water. Five bucks? Sure must be nice. Have all that bread. Cruise Close. around the world on your own yacht. Eat all the fruit, yeah, throw away the rind. He'll die in the ocean, no, and when he does, no, those vultures no. that work for him will pick his little world clean. Hmm. Nice analogy. Wait, I know I hired you for something, Rod you, McEwen. Right. Let's break for a watch for a while. I'll see you later. They are a couple of salty tars. Arr. What'll I do now? Hold on your face, Matt. Hold on your what? Can you breathe all right? Now, duck under and swim around. Stay close to the surface. Well, this is the weirdest Lamaze class I've ever seen. <laughs> it's all blue and sweat okay, and stuff. you okay, or do you want to cough out while you're still ahead? My nose does. <laughs> it won't stop breathing. Let's try it again. Take a couple of deep breaths through your mouth. Uh, oh, that's this thing, right? The slit in my face? Yeah. But not up this time in two minutes. Fake it without me. Ready Fake to it? give it a try? Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Hang on to my waist. Anything you say, teacher. Down, hey, hey. You've got the wrong sport. When does it become the right sport? When ESPN merges Talk with the Playboy channel. Now get underwater. underwater. Remember, breathe through your mouth. Not through your hands. By this time, my... Lo I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, that was me. I'm sorry. Make some Jacques Cousteau jokes instead, will you? Hmm? What happens when I turn out of the air? Say, I hear Ivan Tuller is casting a new adventure show in the Keys with a dolphin. What happens if I feel the volume? Don't pay full price. Get the trip. My name is Alan King, comedian. Ever wonder how the comedy mind works? The sign says it's open 24 hours, and he says not in a row. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm laughing. <laughs> hey, Joey. I don't know, kid. Go put on your own show. Well, who wants to see two comedians talking? Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind. 
Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern on CTV, the Comedy Network. Mikey, don't touch that. Oh, no, you don't. Hey. My family's important to me. That's why I use Pine Saw. You know, all pine cleaners are not the same. Of all pine cleaners, more people choose Pine Saw. Pine Saw's got more active ingredients than the next leading brand. And Pine Saw disinfects better. It even kills staph germs. It's not really clean, disinfected, and deodorized until... It's Pine Solved. Not again. Aren't you tired of running to replace your pantyhose? Well, now there's no more runs. Guaranteed never to run, ever. The secret is Smart Nylon. It actually stops a run before it starts. Look, we'll run a nail file right down this leg. But these pantyhose are no more runs. Abuse them, bruise them. You're still able to use them. Not even this pot scour can harm no more runs. Yet they're so sheer, it's like wearing silk. You get four pairs for only $19.95. If any pair ever runs, we'll replace it with two pairs free. Control Top now available. So use your credit card and call now. To order no more runs without exclusive double indemnity guarantee, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-776-8200 or send check or money order to No More Runs Pantyhose, 4100 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. How many times have you heard this? Live from New York, it's Saturday Night! Well, you'll hear it again Monday through Thursday at 10 on CTV, the comedy network. Mm, time to impress some people. Then I'll go out and start a line of clothes called Polo. Oh, I look like Phil Harris. Yeah, I know I? this Borman guy. He'll he cast us in Excalibur. He's got to know about our killing and things like that. Oh, oh, he's got it up here. Do you know that he knows the batting average of every white stocking player of the 1876 season? Oh, shut, shut, shut up. Shut up. Somebody out to check the painting, but in broad daylight and, and so soon. Oh, boy. I should have stayed in real estate. Yeah. Oh, that's my watch. It does that every quarter hour. Cast off. Hmm? Cast off. Uh, yeah, oh, it hurts when I think. Cast Let's off see. the line, idiot. Oh, the line, yeah, right. Uh, the rabbit goes around the hole, and then it comes out the other, but it... Oh. Uh, Meanwhile, on Bruce Wayne's stately yacht. Yacht. Hey, there's a boat out there. You think that's him? No, that's it's us, a, you fool. It's, it's an exterior shot. Mm. Well, if you ask me, we're sticking our necks way out playing ball in his park. You don't even have a neck. How come we gotta show the real scroll to Lacopolis, man? One thing you must learn, Lawrence, is that you show the genuine item to bait the hook. Proving to the buyer that you have it is one of the distasteful but necessary things about this business. Tell me when you're done. Maybe he won't show up anyway. Borman specified the cove away from the harbor for the rendezvous. I doubt that he'll miss it. Now, get away from me, little man. Patience, Lawrence. One other thing that you must learn. Now, draw a banker. Oh, right. there's that watch of mine again. Where? When you get out of here. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, Remember great. that last time? Uh -huh. We were a little disappointed. Yeah. I think now we're going to see a scene that's ripe with comic possibilities. All right? That's the real mechanics of comedy. Tragedy tomorrow, comedy, comedy tonight. tonight. Yeah. The Jacques Tetti of the boating world. Yep. I'm ready. Sir Hulot in Catalina. You know it's going to be funny. He's wearing corduroy. Right. Gonna get doused. This is this is uh, the funny oh. right here. Well, oh, he's gonna kick his foot in the rope, right? Oh no! Number twenty-seven, the old boat and the anchor trick. Uh, oh, but where's the funny? Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Didn't come out of his tuck in time. Russian judge gives him a three. Oh, wait a funny at all. That was kind of stupid, actually. Well, I I'm the bad guy. Remember me? <laughs> hmm. Andy Graham. Uh, I Earth. am death. Now, have you ever read our watchtower? On time, eh, gentlemen? <laughs> Where's the scroll? Did What's you bring scroll? the money? Mr. Lacopolis is not a stupid man. Sure, he drools and sings camp songs. will arrange a fair exchange. Gee, it's hard to take him seriously oh, in that see. suit. Yeah. Uh, you're soaking in it. <laughs> so, you uh, swim around here much? Were you a little hard on the fat guy? Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Uh, don't you?
you have a line? No. Ah, uh, here he is. <laughs> Look, the water fuzz! Hmm? Water fuzz? Yet some call them water pigs. Oh, no, you don't do that. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, oh, oh. 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 There goes. she goes. <laughs> Please, love me. Oh. Huh? What? Spinner, pedal foot, quick, clutch is in trouble. How did you like it down there? Room. Once I get the hang of it, I may give up the desert and rattlesnake for life. Yeah. <laughs> Water fuzz, they're wet, they care. Tonight's episode, Death Ahoy. Yo ho ho and a bottle of death. Tinker Taylor, soldier, dead man. Michael Roll, your murder ashore. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, Timmy, no, no, darn fool, kid. Skippy's in trouble. Uh, you just ate. Be careful on the end of there. Oh. Well, they're gone. Let's form a girl group. Oh, looks like somebody swabbed the deck with somebody's butt. <laughs> Long about that time, the old Duke boys got a little trouble coming their way. Wow. Mr. Skinman. Huh? It is cool. Oh, I just... Come on, come on, get out of here, baby. Must get back to right level five. This must be a wet side story. <laughs> Join me in my dust, a lot of dust. <laughs> yes, it's synchronized swimming on ESPN. The wet network. I'm coming, baby boy. Please come on. I'm coming. I don't like that. I'm going to give you such a water wedge, you're not going to ever forget it. An awkward smuggie. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. I just came over to say hello. What would make a guy do with that? Here, breathe from me. Take life from me. Please. Oh, look, they're standing four abreast. Oh, oh, please. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, we'll just stand here because they're men and we're not. If it's so close, why can't we see it in this shot? We don't want to be involved. Gee, what a wimp. Can't even take a seasoned diver with a knife. Boy. <laughs> I'm afraid you boys will find only evil here. I had him, Jolly. I'm telling you, I could have killed him. Oh, he took my so thumb, moved, Jolly. Dad. No, it's hard to do. What happened? Well, I'm not sure. Well, I started in theater, yeah. moved on to Summerstock, and now I'm in this film. Why? He held a gun on me, and he took my wallet, and I tried to stop him, and we scuffled, and he went overboard. Hmm. He didn't have any wallet when I saw him. It was eel skin. Happy now, well, Prune Boy? Really matter. You see, there was nothing of importance in the wallet. You see, because I'm lying my socks off. No, never. Where'd he come from? Probably swam uh, out from shore, I Ah, sure. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Yeah, sure. Hmm. I'm kind of skeptical. Hey. It's like an awful long ways to swim just for a few dollars. Yeah. The last time I saw him, he was heading out to sea. How would you know? You were well, drowning. it doesn't really matter. It's all over now, and I'm very grateful this young man didn't get hurt. Come on, Tiger. We'd better... Don't call me that hand. here, Bunny. Please. Uh, Tanks. Yes. I tried to. You should have brought the real one out here. He knows. Just struck out. Larry, will you please settle down? Get married, have some kids, and take that ridiculous hat off. I'm more concerned with the problem at hand. We've got to get that case back before Lacopola sends his divers back for it. Now, I know the stroll case is watertight, mm -hmm. but if we lose it, we really strike out. <laughs> you think that's funny, huh? Shoot yourself in the leg. I'll be right back. All done throwing up, Spunky. Don't worry, a girl. 
I didn't know you cared. I don't. We're going to get a bigger boat, right? Yacht party date on such short notice. Yacht party? You're really nowhere. Haven't you ever heard of one? Is it anything like a rattlesnake hunt? What the heck does that mean? I thought you were getting an education in Arizona. Yeah, well, kids just beat me up a lot when I was a kid. Really? They lack yeah. no, one the thing in ocean. Oh. You do have a lot to learn. They swing. Really swing. Introducing a new idea in air freshening. Glade Country Pottery. Put out the pottery. Put it here, put it there. Simple handmade pieces of glazed pottery. Put it in. Porous clay releases the light, fresh scent for 30 days. Just put out the pottery, put the fresh country air everywhere. Put out the pottery, new blade country pottery. It's back. It's more frightening than before. Stephen King's epic, The Stand. Experience the terror of 350 pages you weren't allowed to see before. This $24.95 hardcover is yours for just $7.95 when you enter the chilling world of the Stephen King Library. Imagine an exclusive collection of horror. Pet Cemetery, The Shining, Christine, The Chart Toppers, the books that became blockbuster movies. All in original hardcovers at just $14.95 each, all with a cancel anytime guarantee. But if you want the terror to last, we'll send you a new volume, including King's new releases about every seven weeks. Enjoy each for 10 days. There's never an obligation to buy. Possess the stand with no risk. The Stephen King Library, where the master is coming back to haunt you. Call 1-800-421-8600 now to get the stand. Keep it and pay just $7.95 plus shipping and handling. Future volumes will come, one every seven weeks, each with a 10-day free trial. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. Surprise! Say hello to the new kids on the block. Hello? Hello? Hiya! But don't panic. I mean, I'm only cussing your hands. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, let me cuss my breath for a second. Now, is that anything to be ashamed of or disgusted by? It's the kids in the hall. It'll be fun. I'll cuss your head. <laughs> the kids in the hall, tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern, only on CTV, the Comedy Network. <laughs> creepy girl. Oh, creepy girl, little creepy girl. <laughs> Jeez, what's wrong, Tom? Sir, well, you look as upset and downtrodden as a little robot with inarticulate limbs can look. Oh, it's creepy girl, Joel. I just met a girl named creepy girl, and suddenly I find... I <laughs> smell a song coming on. <laughs> oh, creepy girl. Lyle Wagner's a total jerk. Second only to Tommy Kirk. Could you find it in your heart to love a bot like me? That fishy story you tell always makes me sleepy. But that's just what I get for dating a girl that's creepy, my creepy girl. Oh, C is for that feeling of uncertainty for not quite knowing what ethnic group you're from. R is for the gifts you give me every time you smile. The first E is for, uh, well, I don't really know, but the second E is really a grammatical thing, because otherwise it would be creppy girl, and where would that leave us? The P is definitely not platonic, and why? Because I love you, my creepy girl. Oh, what are you, creepy girl? Are you French, Italian, or one of those swarthy gypsy types? <laughs> well, your accent suggests a romance language, but I can't be sure. Oh, we can definitely rule out a Germanic language, but it's okay. I'm a bot without a country. All I know is that I love you. I want to shout it from the mountaintops. Uh, but I'd have to get back down to Earth and actually climb a mountain. Or they could just drop me off on a mountain. I don't care. That would be okay, because I just need you, my... Creepy girl, won't you be mine? I'll give you scrolls and fish and tinker toys and wine. I'll ditch these guys if you'll be my creepy girl. Hey. 
got a Rorschach swimsuit. What do you see mm. in it, Carl? I see the creepy girl. I see cookie pants. <laughs> I see trouble. Come on and do the dork. Hey, nice little boat they landed there. They killed it. They lost it later. Everybody get down. Oh, 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 oh hot, oh, pure, oh, hot, oh, still, nails, hot oh, wood oh, nail. Oh, 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 This is the movie that, one of the movies that shaped middle America's sexuality. Deformed. Mm -hmm. Deformed? Yeah. I could say something else, but I won't. It's cold out there. This is the place. Hell. Oh, they call this a mirage. They call it drug-inducing hysteria. Yeah. Babies come home. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, that guy must have something. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. shop at members Our only date. or wards. Well, when in Rome. Yeah. Or Athens. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Hi, Charlie. It's been a long, cold winter, Charlie. What does that mean? Uh, yeah. Get over there. I need some more chicks. What'd you say your name was? Yeah, I'm casting Caligula this summer, so <laughs> come on this down. This film was funded by the Utah Film Board. <laughs> hey, she's got a shaggy diaper that leaks. <laughs> Get it away from me. Hey, it's Ed Begley Jr. Hey, Kiba. Hey, hop. Hey, what? she lost the bone in her neck. Look at that <laughs> flopping around like that. <laughs> Come on, keep them coming, monkey love pile on me. Yeah. That must be what they mean by five easy pieces. <laughs> oh, please. It looks like the cast of Zoom. Come on and zoom, zoom, zoom on, zoom. Come on and zoom, hey. zoom on, zoom. Nice tablecloth there, huh? Yeah, very practical. Posse! Joel, was this before yeah. Cocoa Butter? Yeah, I think so. Shirts by the Renaissance Festival, and King John who invites you to come down and see Robin Hood and Little John, two Never Was actors performing bad skits. And bad music. These guys are horrible. I'm going to quit this band and start a career in music. A couple of cheese eaters here, yeah. Please. Bee Gees go bad. Oh. Or worse. And I haven't learned the words to say. Hey, look, I'm 60. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still rocking. Watch yeah. me. Tune in, turn on, throw up. Yeah. Now I know why drugs were so big in the 60s. <laughs> you need them. I won't. Pretend, Pretend to sing, to sing, to sing. There's a new world just opening for me. Mm -hmm. While the girls prance around in their BBDs. <laughs> what do you think? Um, yeah. Pretty bad. You know, lyrics by Aldous Huxley. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these lyrics are in it. I think they sent the wrong people to Nam. Yeah. You know, could somebody do us a favor and push that guy's amp in the water, maybe? We can't see. Can't see. There's a concept, it's called harmony. Look at those stupid legs. They're stupid looking. They're not real looking at all. Look like puppets. Huh? <clears throat> Big Hyle. Hey, anybody who wants, let's split to the beach for volleyball. Oh, yeah, go you go ahead. That's okay. Hey, looking up. Look, we're picking up the sports channel. <laughs> oh, good good shot, shot, Darn, and I forgot my shins. Yeah, nice shot, baby. Woo! 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 
for all the other kids hate me. Yeah. One Adam 12, see the man whose shins were stolen? Should have been on board the scuba party. You missed all the action. I heard what happened. I wanted to say thanks for helping Dad. I had to see the man. See the man, Coroner Wilmot and Carly. Away. That doesn't matter. I appreciate what you did. Yeah. How about you use my shins? Deal? Wow! Hey, what, what'd I do? Oh, Joel, it's her. Who's that? It's a creepy girl, Joel. Oh! Finally, a sultry woman with a nice body. It's about time. Oh, it's women in threads like that. Watch her talking about her. It's my girl. Come on, follow the leader. No! no. He's none too happy. Dibs. I call Dibs. She's mine. Back off, you clowns. Get out of here. I'll take y'all. Let's try walking like her. Slow burn coming up. Are you coming, Don, or not? <laughs> Nicely. Let's go have a little Marty Milner's. Remember what I said about the last man on earth? Well, it's time. Are you unattached like I am? You mean from reality? Yes, why? You don't catch on very fast, do you? What do you mean? I'm afraid I'm not used to the speed. Oh. Hmm. Don't tell me you're a drag, too. No, There's just a, a drag queen. Party girl. Think you can handle the beach party? I think it's worth a try. Okay, let's go. Uh, what about him? You're not in. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Loose morals, huh? I get it. <laughs> Meanwhile, on ESPN. Everybody dicks the little guy. Uh, so the game's over, huh? Hey, 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 come back here. Hey, what's the matter with me, huh? Bad methods? Uh, I guess I'm kind of messed up after all. Nobody likes me. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. What is it, Tom? Is she okay? I'm going out to get her, Joel. Quick, how do I get her? Well, I gotta... Oh, no! Sandra and watch the dial pneumonia? Well, both, actually. Oh, no. I'm... Oh, I can't... Gee, what a nice guy. Uh, excuse me, can I have my... Uh, where are you going? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need that back. Uh, excuse me. Don't go too far with that. It's my windbreaker. I paid five bucks for that at Ward's. Please. Can I help? No, thank you. Turn around. Oh, thank you, God. Hmm. He's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Not yet. Done? Sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> Isn't this movie enough? It's a good thing you stayed behind. I was ready to sacrifice my modesty. Oh, <laughs> we'll get to the that, my I found out my suit is not for swimming. <laughs> oh, Joel, I have a question. Yeah. What happened to the Where treasure hunt part of the Well, the movie's only half over. Maybe we'll learn something about Don't it. Don't looking oh, for your little oh, fish? Oh, you remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, your deep-seated psychosis, of course. We talked on the boat. That is, I should say I talked. But we never really met. I'm Katrina Carelli. And I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. <laughs> nice to meet you, Doc. So you're here on an outpatient basis. I like that. Huh? Your friends certainly know how to enjoy themselves. They're a fun group. They sure know how to get their kicks. Why aren't you with them? Oh, well, I don't know how to I get my to kicks. See you again. Is that why you stay? Yeah, something like that. Like with my little fish, I was afraid I wasn't going to see you again. Huh. I'm glad I was wrong. Join us. Join the party and be the rules of the world. How about it? Well, I'm kind of cooped up. I'm about afraid that I can't. Fish and everything. It's all hot and it hurts and stuff. His name is Angelo. Yeah, he's a teenage mutant ninja turtle. He has turtle. something very important to do. And he's probably looking for me right now. He told me to wait down at the oh, pier. Where? Oh, he said something about take a long, short walk on a long pier? Or? Something like that. Mm. It's a dysfunctional relationship. I'd like to thank you. And I'd like to thank the producers and the directors, too. Has he been gone long? 
No, not Barry. Hmm. Don, <gasps> would you like to help me look for him? I'll sure. help you. Go. I'll help you. Down this way. Combat footage you'll never see on Nightline. McHale's Navy, every day at 5 on CTV, the comedy network. The Brotherhood. An underworld on wheels. God forgives. The Brotherhood doesn't. The Boz, an undercover cop on the inside. We're gonna get in each other's heads, man. <laughs> you might not like what you find. They think he's stone crazy. That's who, buddy? But he's stone cold. Brian Bosworth, stone cold. Rated R. Starts Friday, May 17th at select theaters. How about a better hand soap? Not us, we can cook. We don't need no lava soap, no. Nope. Regular soap won't always work, but lava with pumice will. Interested? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Lava, but don't try to cope without it, soap. And bend and stretch and reach and crawl. When you don't have the right tools to clean with, housework becomes quite a workout. Now Rubbermaid makes a whole line of cleaning products to help you handle housework. Don't you wish everything was made like Rubbermaid? Guy D. Crescenzo, Centel Corporation. My career goal was to be at the leading edge of business communications. I made it. And having DeVry on my resume was my greatest asset. At DeVry, you learn to apply today's technology by using the tools and methods businesses use. And that's what companies are looking for. It doesn't matter how high you set your goals, DeVry can help you reach them. Call now, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Be strong. Be confident. Be fit. Seize the opportunity. The power is yours. Power to mold your body. Power to look, feel, and be what you want to be. Grasp the power. Nordic Power by Nordic Track. Isolate, build, and strengthen your muscles with two-way directional isotonic resistance. Work your muscles, both on the pull and push motion, for all the workout you can handle in less time. See the difference and feel the power. Nordic Power doesn't cost a lot. In fact, it gives you a more efficient workout than other muscle machines for about one-third the cost. Nordic Power. Call now for a free video and brochure. Discover how to look your best, build your muscles, and get the most out of life. The new Nordic Power by Nordic Track. Change your life forever. Chaplin, Fields, Lloyd, Keaton, Benchley, Langdon, Laurel and Hardy. They all made movies, they're all dead, and they're all here on Dead Comics Society. Classic movies by Classic Comics, hosted by Robert Klein. Dead Comics Society. Sunday morning at 10 Eastern on CTV. So, did you call Harry Callahan yet? I'll need three more expert divers by this time tomorrow. And two implants. What are we diving for? That's none of your business. Well, Mr. how do we know when we found it? You to dive, not to ask questions. You'd better get out of here. Uh, like this? Like that. Uh, now I'm going to go polish my suit. <laughs> <laughs> there she is again. You sure he came down here? Yes. He said he had to meet the man on the beach. Oh, that means he has to go to the bathroom. It's a guy thing. Yeah. Well, I think I better go back and wait for him. Angela has such a bad temper. Hmm. Hmm. Angelo Dungeon. Trina. You dig this, Angelo? We're going to be married. Not what I asked you. Do you dig him? I'm a thousand feet tall. Katrina! Why didn't you wait like I told you to? Oh, you were gone so long. You still should have waited. She was worried. And you keep out of this. Hey, call it, man. Oh, you man. look out of trouble. Oh, please. Let me take care of this. All right, but if you run any static, just yell. Just yell. Call for the turtle boy. Yeah. You were very rude, Angelo. You had no right to be on the beach with a stranger. Oh. Angelo! Something is very wrong. Who is this man of patience for doing nothing in those men you always with? Oh, he's from paid programming. This carabinet thing isn't going to last That's forever, you know. your concern. I never should have brought you here in the first place. I should have brought Vicki Lawrence. Right, hmm? yeah. What is that? Let me settle this right here and now. 
All right, I'm all for it. Hey, but we ran... Hey! It's black. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, now, Joel, how do we comment on this without getting into big trouble? Uh, you could use metaphor, maybe. Raspberry red. Mm -hmm. Lemon yellow. Mm -hmm. I read my mind. Choo choo choo. I just mm. saw your sister. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Quick, I'll... get a pen down his throat. Break him. He's tired from all that make out. Well, I don't even have an agent. I just saw the ad in the trade dailies, and here I am. Hey, clam bake. <laughs> Fade out, man. Fade out? Who's minding the store? Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Where'd you split to? Felt like cutting out for a while. Hmm. You use a lot of jargon. What are you talking about? hung up with another oh. guy. Hi, Bob. Hi, Hi net you. girl. You like this suit? Mm, yes. Wild. Don't you dare speak to me. Okay. Wow! It's her again! It's creepy girl! Oh, oh forget her. Oh, I can't. I just can't. Hi, lower life forms. Hello, Don. I've decided to accept your invitation. To the beheading? It's still open. I is Sam? You've got to be the mother of all pigeons. Yeah, tell him to stop oh, messing up our statues. Don't mind him. He's got a language all his own. Yeah, he took Aren't a shell in now. Introduce me to your playmate, Don. Hmm. Katrina, this is this, everybody. Miss January, everybody. this is everybody. This is this. Katrina, that was real dandy sport. Hmm? I'm Charlie Mock. I collect custom showgirls. But you can forget about him. He's ready for a wheelchair. Hey, come on, I'm 17. Cut off the good-natured ribbing. Nobody will introduce us. Meet the daughter of Satan. I gotta change my drift net. <laughs> Did I oh. say something wrong? Where's Angelo? I don't know. I don't really care. Hmm. You guys hmm. are me? That and the man named Bacopolo. What about Locopolis? He'll thrash her from top to bottom. I mean, I Doing know. what? Diving, I think. That's about the only thing Andrew's ever done. Why? Could that be the diver you tangled with? I dare not tell them that they speak of my family. Guy. Who's Locopolis? I'll close up his esophagus. Problems. Then you know of his reputation. I'm afraid we do. I wonder why Locopolis needs a diver. I saw it on Ted Coppolis. <laughs> <laughs> a baby's cry for help. <laughs> Oh, my career is drowning. Hang on, I'm coming. Wait, I'll get my check. No, I don't have it. Oh. I'll stay here and protect the harem. <laughs> oh, he's so funny in the act of tragedy in the middle of something horrible. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Hey, wait, he's got salvage rights. <laughs> now, was that you who cried? Keep your butt above water. That's good. Right. It's better than that tarpon I caught in Bimini. It was a keeper. I'm going to get out my fillet knife. <laughs> Surfing turf, man. You betcha. Mm. Uh, oh, um, oh, save. By the stinky guy. Uh, she almost died. <laughs> she almost died. Uh, she's got water in her lungs. Brain, brain damage. Uh, and that's for you, Moe and Larry. Spinning shins. Oh. Then if she was drowning, they would have all gone in. You Unite! 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 The wheels who follow them do whatever they do, who cares? The chicks are up in arms. They've left their fields and barns. They're marching on the farms because kids won't drink enough milk. I would. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. Hey, there ain't nothing like a day. You got some rain on the sun. Nothing looks like a day. Nothing clips. Well, this must be on the way to the Greenwich Village Halloween party. Yep. I'm thinking. I hope I get it. 
I really hope I get it. For some unexplicable reason, a deep-seated call from nature causes these lemmings to follow each other off the edge of the high cliff. Man, I got a pole with a capital O. Woo-hoo! Is he a time traveler? And now, Red in the silent spot. Red's a fisherman and... Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too small, I have to throw it back. She hit Big Jake. I feel a number coming on. Hey, we better do something, but quick. Yeah, let's do something. Hey, it's Gloria Esteban and the Catalina Deo 6 Sound Machina. What am I, chopped liver? Hey, cut that out. You're making me hungry. Satisfy your appetite with SCTV, weeknights at 1 on CTV. Gillette presents Sensor, the system, the technology that will change the way you shave forever. Sensor, twin blades set on springs to read your face and respond. Independent suspension to sense and adjust to every curve of your face. No other razor comes close. Gillette Sensor, for the best shave a man can get. Mr. Freud is analyzing dreams. Not analyzing, but my book talks about dreams like yours. Ben Randall, referring to the Time Life series, Mysteries of the Unknown. Dreams and dreaming. Uh You of all people think dreams mean something? Well, they may be coming around a little. What does my dream mean? A dream you're being chased could mean a feeling of guilt and a fear of being caught. Guilt? Uh What else could it mean? (laughs) Well, read Read the the book. book. Call now. Read Dreams and Dreaming free for 10 days. Keep it for $12.99. Other volumes will follow about every other month. Keep only those you want. Cancel any time. I don't know if I can get back to sleep now. You know what? Some of that pie, maybe a la mode might help. Okay. You get the pie and I'll read, read the, the book. book. CTV presents Poker, Bilko style. Poker? Oh, is that anything like old days? You're in with Sergeant Bilko today at 4.30 on CTV, the comedy network. Hey, gang, maybe if you do this, it'll be okay. Ready? Five, eight. six, seven, eight. He's the pay- He's the only professional dancer they've hired, so they got to use him. Cassie! Is that Danny Terrio? Yeah, he's the guy who taught John to revolve at a dance. Girls just can't resist the frolicking vibes of a hot guy. Neither can I. body on him. <laughs> the girls begin to become aroused by the provocative gyrations of the shamed males of the village. That's a, yeah. You know, I still am having a hard time figuring out what this has to do with any scroll. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Hey, gang, let's gather around for the next scene. Hey, it's the same shot as before. I love that. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody gets it on this one. Wow, they're dancing for apartheid. That's to raise money for the National Front. It's the Keep Mandela in Prison dance. Right. They want to play some city, I guess. D.W. Bota, back in office. Ah, the clean smell of kids who know they rule the world. Grab that lace, will you? Oh. Too bad. Mm-hmm. Next time. I'm getting done. Oh, sounds like the tape's getting eaten here. Oops. Oh. Hmm. Eight uh, track. Um, you want to tie yeah. that up over there, yeah. Servo? I'm trying to bite it there. My arms don't work. Darn. And her name is Sybil. And all her friends. 
Hey, this is great. You know, now that she's so famous, it's fun to see these old clips. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> really she... humble origins, she went on to... Obscurity. Yeah. Yeah, it is a way it should be. Boogie. <laughs> hey, they grew up to be Jim and Tammy Baker. Let's not have talent, let's do away with fun. Let's all be white, really white. white. Snowy white. Hey, I checked out the book of love, love one time, and it was really hard to find in the library because there's not a lot of copies of it. There's just notes in the margins and the pages. Huh? Just watch the movie, okay? Then we're all white, and we swing to the right. Oh, oh wow, I'm again. Hey. Uh oh. Hiya, show. Hey, do the jerk. The idiot. The moron. The potato of the buff dance. The dick queen. Do the white male reality. The Donald Hollinger. Yeah. Do the back girl. You. Hey. Hey. It's just one big, sunny, fun-filled baton death march. Don't rewrite anything. We never change. Why should we? We're on top of the world. White love. It's good, isn't it? Tell me it's good. Come on. Get some swing. Why did the Titanic have to sink and this didn't? The irony. You know what the difference is between the Titanic and this? What? Titanic had talent. Oh. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! You've been a great crowd, Catalina! Tip your waitresses! Good night, everybody! Oh. oh boy! Oh, the old suitcase gag. The this is a classic. Suitcase and the uh, huh? Oh, See? no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. And then, what? Oh, 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 yes, that's oh. so funny. This guy makes the film for me. Yeah. He makes a film for me too, but it's not this one, huh? No. <laughs> okay, let's can it. Plot's back now. A pasty film on the. <laughs> Hmm. The youth of today spent like so many shell casings on the battlefield of love. Uh -huh. remember, I'll do all the talking. And you do the interpretive dance. Good man. Well, good morning, everyone. It Hi, was. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Duval. Oh, what a lovely day for basking in the sun. What are you doing here, Dad? I just thought I'd take my morning constitution. Oh, here on the beach? At two in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I uh, no, but I've got a feeling you're going to try. Oh. Well, the truth of the matter is I'm here for a reason. Yeah. You see, I'd like to do something to put a little sing in the weekend for you kids. Hmm. Might give you some pennies, yellow jackets, or goofballs. <laughs> what do you have in mind, Dad? How about a scuba diving party? Scuba parties are nothing new. How about oh, not the the one I have a nitrous mind. oxide in the I tanks. want you and your friends aboard my yacht by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. How does that sound? Wild. Yeah. And you'll be diving for lost treasures. Yeah. Items worth $5 and up. We're and dumb. here is the grand prize. It's a stick of dynamite. You get to throw it at Oh, it's an old map case. Now, for every one of these, you find the and donate a penny to items. Jerry's care. And the diver who brings this up wins the grand prize and $100. 100 bucks? Wow. I could do with a hundred dollars. Yeah, nothing wrong with her, a hundred dollars. Don't forget, on board by ten o'clock. Don't forget your plot device. Dad, I've got that funny feeling again. Take an aspirin, son. Take a whole pot. Okay. I'm with you so far. But I'll be watching you, Dad. Hmm. Good boy. He's not even my son, you know. He's Marty Milner's kid. <laughs> well, the rest is up to them now. They don't come up with that scroll. You can bet what copolis divers will. Oh, flock, no, no well, There's no way that guy can make some. You can talk now, situation. stupid. No. Oh, I'll never mind. I don't see it, Frank. He's a comic genius. I don't see it. Meanwhile, in Gotham's Harbor, the Exxon Valdez. They should be coming up soon. What, our lunch? <laughs> for over an hour, and that's okay. 
Patience, Lawrence. Patience. Lawrence. Hey, everybody. I found a new script, and this one's funny. Well, there's, there's bobby pins down there and band-aids, and there's a lot of hair on the drain. Mm. What do they got? That we ain't got. Courage. <laughs> Next divers. That's the third time they talk with this thing. And our time's running out. Time fly. <laughs> Charlie Sheen in Navy Seals, a Golden Globus production. Hey, it's us again. Arthur, I have a splendid idea. Why don't they all go down together for one final effort? Without tanks. Sound idea. Is that agreeable with everyone? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very agreeable. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We are here to spoil everything. Over there. Hmm? So you must be after the scroll. You see any other divers? Oh, only no, you. We can't afford to guess. Let's find out. Huh? What, down here? Oh, okay. They should, they should be great. Oh, this is bad. Huh? What? Look, it's Dino, Desi, and Billy. Hey, Sinatra got him a gig. <laughs> at the bottom of the harbor. He must be tripping. I huh? think so. so. Entertain all those other guys at the bottom of the harbor. Yep. Well, a couple should have made us move by now. Yeah, well, I guess they figured we were just... Oh, we got sandwiches. <laughs> oh, wait. We got that pistol from the man from Glad. <laughs> I really know how to handle guys like that. Oh. You got me. Where is it? You're a very sneaky man. Oh, I'm with you. I don't have time to fool around. Where's the scroll? Should we give him three guesses? I don't see why we should. Oh, don't make him. Oh, we gotta split, guys. Oh, I can't watch, watch this. this. Oh, they look tough. Yeah. Oh man, oh, I think it's his sarcasm sequencer. So I'm gonna have to field strip you, little buddy. Come here. Hey, ow, hey, that hurt. Give me that hey, back. Hey, neat. Hey, I'd, I'd like a wing, please. The overlords are calling. Look sharp, you guys. Oh, hi, Joel. Uh, just thought you'd like to see what we got going on down here. I think you know everybody. This is Jerry, and that's Sylvia. And you know Joel in the box, so let's get started. And oh, Jerry, you haven't even touched your sandwich. It's good stuff. And Sylvia, coffee? Just all you want, free refills. <laughs> free refills. Really anyway, oh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, so let's get started. We've got fun, easy to plan stuff here. Now, now, Sylvia, back me up on You know what I'm talking about, this one. Are you with me on this? These guns that are stored underwater, this method with the baggie and the... It makes no sense. It's totally impractical. It's, it's just outmoded stuff. We have nothing to do. But this product that I'm giving you the opportunity to get in on here. It's a triple ply polycarbonate reinforced substrate. As a matter of fact, it's the uh, type of material used by the astronauts on It's About Time. It's well, very Fred, uh, Fred, how's our new uh, venture Fred, going? Fred. Oh, whatever. Oh, well, it's... Uh, Don't mind me. I'm just going to sit in and observe. Okay. Go on with your presentation. Oh, okay, good. Uh, she gets some of that. I think we got some... Wisconsin yeah. cheese log there. Uh, it's not the same thing with him. Okay, uh, we got. Uh, oh, this is uh, for for storing uh, hand grenades. Uh, this is perfect. It fits on, and we have the gel in it that stores it three. And look, it fits perfectly. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, okay, and we have the uh, this salad. It's fruit salad stays perfectly well. Never would. Uh, oh well. Here, let me just, just stick, put that there. And this is even better. Here, this will stay right on there. There's no. Okay. Here, stick that up there with the thing, and we'll put the. Oh, maybe I should do it 
joke. You, you ever notice how the mole men with the thing and the body with the put the Frank, huh? Frank, Frank, huh? Why don't you uh, just pack it all in here? <laughs> it's uh, it's okay. Why don't we just start cleaning up? I uh, I uh. <laughs> Give you points for your your little party here, but uh, you're gonna hurt me, aren't you? No, Frank. I give you a. You're gonna be mean to me. No, I'm not. Why do you pull away? You're gonna be mean. You're gonna hurt me, and it's gonna be humiliating. It's gonna hurt and stuff. Look, look, Frank. You you've got a lot to learn about being a mad scientist, and and you know I. I think I'll buy one of your melon ballers. I... Well, actually, there's some melon right up there. That'll be. Frank! <laughs> Frank's going to be having a little pain. We'll be right back. <laughs> Finally, a sophisticated intellectual game show. I think, actually, I'm going to break wind. Well, maybe not. Whose line is it anyway? Saturdays at midnight on CTV. Weekdays, turn to CTV for passion, complicated plot twists, and guilt. Rhoda, it's no soap opera. Weekdays at 3 on CTV. I know. Once you pop, you can't stop. Ow. You hear them. You grab them. You want them. You crunch them. Crunch them, crunch them, you crunch them. Once you pop, I know. You Get free introductory jazzercise classes in specially marked cans of Pringles Light. Grandma, what's butter for? So my cookies will taste special for the family reunion. Why? Butter makes them taste better. Why? Butter's natural. Here, taste delicious. Because it's butter. Real butter makes family reunions taste even better. Do you like to draw, sketch, or doodle? Well, if you do, You'll want to enter this month's art contest from Art Instruction Schools with over $8,000 in prizes. Here's how easy it is. Just call toll-free and Art Instruction Schools will send you this Draw Me Art folder without cost or obligation. When you receive it, simply draw one of these interesting characters and mail it back to us. Each drawing is individually judged and five winners are selected each month. The purpose of our contest is to find prospective students who are motivated and like art. Only amateurs are eligible, and complete rules are in the Draw Me folder. So call or write today. It's fun and exciting, and you could be a winner. To receive your free Draw Me Art folder, call this toll-free number or write to Art Contest and give your name, address, and age. Don't delay. Call this number now. Call 1-800-733-3700. footage you'll never see on Nightline. McHale's Navy, every day at 5 on CTV, the comedy network. Baseball. Basketball. Bingo. G6. Buckeye. Bolster. Heyman. Sports Monster. 6.30 Eastern Saturday. I've got the implant. This will launch my empire. I know. King Dex, man. Oh, tell your friends, dude. Oh, black water, keep on rolling. Any resemblance to a real action sequence is purely coincidental here. Once you get caught between the moon and New uh, York City. Did they get the case? Oh yes, I saw them taking away. They the took my thumb. They. Oh no, wait, they're still here. The other day. What's in that case? Whatever it was, it sure must have been worth a lot of bread. I knew you were up Toast. to something. I want to know what's it all about. Alfie. Fighting? I like an explanation too, Mr. Duval. I mean, this is the second time in the last few days that I almost got myself killed. Yeah, lots of other Maybe stuff too. Maybe back to Avalon, Go. son. I'll explain a little later. Will you put your hands down, Lawrence? No, I don't want to play well, patty cake. We really shouldn't feel too badly. 
the fates were against us. And it cost us half a million bucks. Oh. Boy, the ball games I could have seen with that dough. You know, I don't think I want to live in a world us. filled with adults no, anymore. Not a chance. Nothing's I right. You're hurting. Yeah, so that's what I'm afraid of. Hmm. Hmm. There's always the chance of the police tracing the stolen scroll back to my folks. Are you sure this is a real scroll? Hey, who wants to say what's real and what's not real, real, man? And besides, we heard Dad talking about it. We can thank the screenwriter for that. More than a few hours. The scroll we thought we were diving for was a phony. I just got a flash. A hot flash. When those going through up, they've got the wrong merchandise. Man, they're going to be out for blood. Man, everything's coming down on me today. Let's the potato on the fuzz. Cool it. Get the fuzz into this and his folks end up in jail. I can't use this lingo anymore. suspicious, especially in Acropolis. He's totally psychiatrist. Be my guest. I haven't got the blood to spare for those vultures. You got the hair for it. That's no good. The minute Dad gets it back, the temptation will be too much for him. And the four tops and the spinners. Half a million dollars is too much for him to turn down. For my bread, you should have left it where you threw it instead of going back to die for it Please, later. I implore you, shut up. I have no right to say this. God, your hair but smells good. But I think I know good. a way to... Well, to scare the larceny out of your folks once and for all. Scare the what? And get Angelo and Foreman arrested. I'm ready to try anything as long as it doesn't involve mother and dad with the police. Or farm animals. We know they want the real scroll. What we've got to do is make sure that they know that we've got it. I'm not about to have them take out their frustrations on me. Shut, Shut up. up. How about Charlie? And lose my image? What image? What's the play? Uh, it's Twelfth Night. We try and smoke out Angela. Twelfth Night? Bound to be around someplace. Let's find Tina and some of the kids. These kids today with their loud music and hula hoops. Hey, Max buddy, I don't know. know. For those of you following along in the Sid Field screenplay workbook, that last scene was the plot point setting up the third act. Now this. Mayberry, after hours. No shirt, no shoes, no script. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, hello, mother, hello, father. Here I am at uh, Catalina. Uh, mm -hmm. it's not uh, nice. uh, uh, uh. Zach Norman is Sammy and Chief Zabu. Hmm. Uh oh. It's the big guy. I have to sit like this since the implant. I'm watching you, Cran Head. Here come the bunnies. Maybe they did better. Hopping down the bunny trail. Hey, it's Charlie Angels, plus a smart one. Nobody. <laughs> At least not anybody who looks like the two you fought with on the Lyra. Hmm. Keep looking. Move out, troop. Well, it's McMillan and wife and Don, wife and wife. Can I talk to you a minute? What? Talk. Just a minute. We gotta go. What's wrong? Uh, I'm About pregnant. yesterday. I'm sorry I slapped you. And I wasn't really drowning either. Oh, yeah, and I'm I not acting. I forgot all about that. Really? Really? But you do pack a pretty uh, mean wallet. Don't rub it in. I was going to say for a pretty girl. Oh, uh, but you're ugly. Listen, Charlie Moss has got a groovy sister. You know who else thinks so? The football team? Chad. Well, I apologize to him, too. Oh. Only first. Oh. It's them! <gasps> Go find Charlie, quick. Right now. Mm. Hey, Charlie. I'll take him on. I know I can. I'll do it. Yeah. I will, I will, I will. If you like your comedy up close and personal... Oh, cool, my parents are thrilled about that. Then welcome to the club. Party! I'd rather pass a kidney stone. <laughs> Coming to me. Join host Will Schreiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America's funniest comics. Any hecklers? The best of the U.S. Comedy Festival. Ah! Two drink minimum. Saturday at 6 on CTV. As you can see, the actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch. Mikey, don't touch that. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, 
My family's important to me. That's why I use Pine Saw. You know, all pine cleaners are not the same. Of all pine cleaners, more people choose Pine Saw. Pine Saw's got more active ingredients than the next leading brand. And Pine Saw disinfects better. It even kills staph germs. It's not really clean, disinfected, and deodorized until it's pine solved. Look out, the little rascals are back. They've been everybody's favorite for over 50 years. And now these mischief makers can be yours on home video through this special television offer. With two complete episodes on each cassette, the first video in your collection is yours for only $4.95. About every four to six weeks, receive another cassette to add to your collection. Buy only the videos you want, cancel at any time. Start off your library with a bang. Horse around with the gang and honky donkey. Also in this first video, see Spanky and Alfalfa clean up their acts and spruce it up. Each video contains two great titles, and remember, your first cassette is only $4.95. Call now to get a running start on the fun. Here's how to order. Start your Little Rascals video collection with the double episode cassette featuring Hunky Dunky and Sprucing Up for only $4.95 plus shipping. Credit card orders call 1-800-726-6000. Sorry, no CODs. That's 1-800-726-6000. Order now. Surprise! Say hello to the new kids on the block. Hello? Hello? Hiya! <laughs> but don't panic. I mean, I'm only cutting your hands. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, let me catch my breath for a second. Now, is that anything to be ashamed of or disgusted by? It's the kids in the hall. It'll be fun. I'll cut your head. The kids in the hall, tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern, only on CTV, the Comedy Network. <laughs> hmm. Lucky open table. How come he got a menu already? Lucky. Oh, peach daiquiri. So that's what I drank last night. Hmm. Tasted pretty good. Nice spit take, dude. Got to get the I'm still waiting for my spinach right. omelette. And no slip up this time. Hi. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, you? I've been looking for you. Creepy girl. Don't make any heroic moves, my friend. It's too late I to rewrite the, the script. Piece. Hand it over. Angela, what are you doing here? Work and be an evil. Friend, Shut I up. don't have time for game. <laughs> and I haven't got time for the pain. Angela! Man, everybody's coming down on it. Oh. Jet, you're a jet all the way. Splendid, son. It's a That's Catalina Ford's Army knife. Always be prepared. And a feminine. We'll take care of the garbage. Go get them done. Can you handle this one, Mr. Duval? It's land oh, I'm Sure, I can. Some call them land pigs. You bunny, stay here. Judy calls your master away. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Okay, people, everybody wear eye protection. There's a lot of loose ends flying together all at once here. Wow, this Main Street USA parade is really getting thin. <laughs> Hi, folks. That's not Mickey, that's Nicky. <laughs> hey, he's running into the haunted mansion. Ooh. Our new ghost host. Ouch! Oh! 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 Don't snag on me. Don't snag on me. Eat it, boy. Eat it. No. Oh, no. 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 No, Jerry. No, Jerry, no. Jerry, no. Jerry, no. Jerry, no. You got me all wet, boy. Well, I guess he's swimming back to Greece. A little late, aren't you, buddy? 
Take a rest, friend. You've provided enough comic relief. Thank you, Corky the Water Clown, for making us laugh at love. Again. What do you think you're doing? I've got you this time, Duval. Will you take these silly things off my wrist? I'm the silly thing. It's a thing. long time for you to make a slip. No. Now I've got you. What's this all about? Who are you? Fingers O'Toole, insurance... FBI, the crap this all the business. my prisoner. And what's the charge? Grand theft. And wearing an ascot. Look, you don't even know what you're talking about. You stole the scroll from the collection, and it's in that case you're holding. Oh, wow, he's Give me holding, the dude. Hey, cool, a Bon Jovi poster. Kind of like a pea shooter, isn't it? Good one. It's oh, gone. Baseball. My career. It was in there. I know it was in there. Why me? Why me all the time? Where did it go? Uh, I don't believe it. I'm Iggy Pop. Oh, boy. Hey, the script's in Braille now. He looks about 40. Well, meantime, young fellow. The guy who lives here wants to go to bed. Sure is beautiful. Yes, sure is. Man, I sure love that old snot rag of a... Huh? huh? So, uh, you know, win them all. The pain, the pain. I lose a rich one. Gain another. Oh, stealing off. Lose one. Famous American cliche. Shaving my head. I told you it would be a long walk. Didn't I tell you that? And Charles. Oh, you promiscuous, manly robot monster. Kill him. Kill him. Mm, musical newspaper from Japan. And look. Zach Norman is Sammy and Chief Sabu. It says right there. Oh, oh. Wow. yikes. Let's quit. I'm hemorrhaging. Hey, Mom, Dad, you got any rhythm left? We're out. How did it get out of my case? Back into the museum. Go That's figure. Charles would say, don't knock it, Dad. Perhaps it's best forgotten anyway. Acopolis has sailed away forever. Perhaps a little bit wiser for his experience. I doubt it. There's only one answer, Ann. Somebody up there likes it. No, dear. I think someone loves her. Well, it's not me. Well, what now? What's left for us? The Not drug one running? single prospect on the entire island. Prostitution? I've searched high and low. The pigeons have all flown Some away. Lords? Well, you could always go to work. Yes. Yeah. Work? Uh -huh. Oh. As Charles might say, that's a boss idea. You know, it's time I did some retiring. <laughs> well, there's that Louis Nye look-alike contest. It's a good dance, Goofy. Good at that. I've outgrown this craft ball stuff. It was just a phase. Now I'm a swinging cat. Yeah. Hey, it's a skinhead. Get Geraldo. <laughs> Say. Oh, look at creepy girl. Doesn't she look great in a hairdo like that? Yeah. I like her in a flip. Oh, he's down to one girl, huh? He's cutting back. Oh, nobody wants to dance with the big, uh, stinky guy. Yeah. Shirt's louder than the music, isn't yeah. it? Ah, uh, Dork Shack. Geek Dork Shack, Shack baby. baby. Yeah. That's where it's at. Got a movie that's as long as a whale. It's about to set sail. Woo. A plot hole that's as big as a whale. Huzzah! King John invites you to the Ren Festival. Come see 300 years crammed into one place. Meet the people you snagged on in high school. Bring your own tights or wear some of our own. Uh, principals to the front, please. Extras and back. There, there you go. Thank you. Oh, a bit. it was only a movie. What? Oh, it wasn't movie. real? Oh, it was uh, real, too. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm having <laughs> some trouble here. I was right in the middle of that. Brother. So, a I, good movie des deserves a good encore of the cast. I wonder if we're going to see the fish again here at the end. What fish? Oh, that's right. Fish the, from the beginning? Yeah. Uh, and the scroll? Yeah. That was good. I still don't really get what happened. Um, well... I, we got to do something to understand this. Don't this was just bizarre. It's something to do with a lot of scrolls. foreign films with a lot of subtitles. Where did the scroll go to and how did it get back where it was? It was a lot easier to... This is harder than a Werner Herzog film to figure out. <laughs> I think it's important that we experienced it together. Don't you? And we shared. 
Yeah, we better get out of here. Let's go. Am I vomit? Carry me. Oh, that's that's no. voice. Okay. Please. Come on. Man, that was a really confusing movie, wasn't it? <laughs> well, no, um, not really. I only have one question, actually. Well, what's that, girl? What the Sam Hill was going on? Yeah. Well, which, which part of the movie did you have a hard time with? Uh, well, I was doing okay until the opening credits ended, and then I thought it was like a cartoon with really good animation. You know, I'm confused, too. The only thing that made any sense to me was that darling, creepy girl. I can't seem to get her out of my mind. <laughs> Stop the music, Cambot, cut it out. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, very good, Mr. Tommy Servo tune there. Uh, I had a feeling this was going to happen with this. So on the way uh, back from the theater on the spiral on down, will you move over, you guys? Uh, excuse me. I took the liberty of making this uh, chart of the film, okay, so we could figure it out a lot better. Ooh, ooh, yeah, great. Ah, Thank you, you spinach chins. Anyway, this is going to make us all feel better. So let me just start explaining it, and we can help each other. Okay, act one. Uh, the uh, Alan Sherman wannabe in the Crayola hat, that's this guy down here, uh, steals the scroll from Pegboard Mansion. Okay, uh, Tom? Uh, oh, oh, he hands it off to the Louis Nye guy, the Billy DeWolf wannabe with the Jim Backus mouth, and the upgrade wife aboard the thinnest ship in the Navy. Oh, uh, uh, I remember now. Upgrade wife drew a fake of it, which they planned to pawn off on uh, Mr. Vanopolis. Yeah. Okay, uh, slam dance Cosmopolis. Yeah, do the worm Acropolis. Would you two stop a list? Okay, now. <laughs> then, uh, Lockjaw, uh, Jim Backus, and uh, Crayola Head here get in a big plastic hassle with Lyle Wagner and the uh, script, or the scroll ends up going south. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, Joel. You're getting way ahead of yourself. What about Tommy Kirk meeting the creepy girl on the boat and the sensitive soliloquy about the little fishy? Uh, well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, you're both forgetting uh, to mention that all the singing and dancing with Little Richard tripped up on goofballs. Okay, what, the, the, what the heck did that have to do with it. anything? The entire plot was hinged on the relationship between the creepy girl and Tommy Kirk. No, yeah. listen, the whole emotional thrust of the second act was when Lockjaw throws the hullabaloo come treasure hunt to get the scroll back no, in his possession. No, 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 wait about, well, what about the dysfunctional relationship that the kid who looked like Jim Baker, you know, come on, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shared with Billy DeWolf and Jane Bennett? I thought that was the emotional center of the film. Yeah, yeah, anybody, about, Crow, that was the emotional Tootsie center of the film. Uh, oh, 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 Man, I'm oh, teed no off. Fair. I'm gonna go get the letters. Uh, Joel, 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 the letters right here on the desk. Shame okay, it. Okay, all right. Read that letter, okay. will you? Try to calm down. Come on now. Okay. Oh, this is this is great. I'm sorry I got kind of crazy there, but uh, so am I. Okay, this is a really neat letter. Let's put it up on the screen there, Cambot. It oh. says, "Dear Joel, Tom, Servo, Gypsy, Cambot, and of course Crow. Yeah. We think you. This may be a first for your show. We met. We spent time together and fell in love watching MST 3000. And now we're getting oh. married. Oh, oh, that's we're wonderful. We're hoping you can make it to the nuptial festivities, but if the si evil scientist won't let you guys out, please send a picture of Crow for us to keep hey, and cherish fabulous. as a precious reminder. Oh. Tell Crow the door is jar, okay? Oh, and thanks. here, put this up, Cam, out. Here's the wedding announcement. We're gonna have to block out some of this so like we names. don't get a bunch of misties there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but anyway, but I thought Trumps, that- It's the and it's in that, New York. Yeah. <laughs> An open bar. I think that was super cute, cool, and really romantic. Yeah, isn't romance wonderful? Yeah. Hit it, Cambot! Creepy girl, oh creepy girl, my eyes pour out to you in heaves and droves of iridescent shapes and stars through the sky, but I don't care, creepy girl. I got hit in the head with a crowbar, and I just don't see straight anymore. All I know is I love you. Bad movie. Uh, good fruit salad. Uh, push the button, Martha Stewart.
What's wrong? Nothing much. The head's a little disturbed. I, I sent a commander off in the wrong direction. That doesn't sound so terrible. He's been heading in that direction for seven years. Oh, that's not good. No. And I ordered a million wrong helmets. I forgot Gromulans have noses on the back of their heads. Or the head wants to give you an assignment. Is it adventure, Palindrome? You're gonna love it. Commander Quark, the starship at Velcro has just traveled for 27 years in order to become our ally. Their leaders must understand that the United Galaxy strives to preserve peace and goodwill. I'm going to be a goodwill ambassador. And so, Quark, after 27 years, their garbage hatch is filled to the brim. Pick it up. Uh. The galaxy ad infinitum. It's garbage again. Starnet. Garbage. The final frontier. But no matter what our task, I know my able and loyal crew will approach the assignment with their usual efficiency and determination. I hate this mission. Gee. It's a piece of space fluff. I'm telling you, Commander, I gotta break me some heads, get me some gorgies, crush some slime people. Yeah. Well, we all have to keep busy, Gene. Commander, I've got an alien ship starboard. We're nowhere near the Belcro yet. Make contact, have them identify themselves. Commander, they've jammed our signals and are speeding away from us. Sounds like they've got something to hide. Well, let's go get them, Commander. I'll decide that, Gene. Ficus, which regulation do you think applies in this situation? A United Galaxy commander may elect to board and search any vessel not responding to an inquiry. Bettys, let's go get them. We'll catch them, Commander. Way to go, little space buddy. Little space buddy? We're catching them. We'll teach those guys a lesson they'll never forget. Right, Commander? Sure, Gene. Ficus, have you got a reading on that ship yet? It appears they are approximately 20 times bigger than we are, have six photon death rays, and a deflector shield which our weapons cannot penetrate. Our weapons cannot penetrate? Sir, we couldn't interrupt a small dinner party on that ship. Betty's, turn the ship around. Commander, I thought you said we were going to teach them a lesson. I think they've learned their lesson, Gene. <laughs> Betty's, turn it around. You mean they're chasing us? Ficus, who are they? Well, Commander, there are three possibilities. Either they are the dreaded Gorgons, in which case we'll probably all be killed, or they're the allies of the dreaded Gorgons. Ficus, I don't have time for long lists. In which case we'll probably also be killed. Ficus, what you're saying is that all possibilities end in our death. Betty's, contact firm one. We can't! They've jammed our controls! That was my next possibility, Commander. Starnote, I have been captured by Zorgon the Malevolent, the most vicious Gorgon space pirate and half-brother to the High Gorgon himself. Garbage is beginning to look good. Gorgon, Commander, can we talk? Not now, Jane. All right. What have you got to say for yourselves? We give up. Who is the commander who dared chase Zorgon the Malevolent? He is. Gene, <laughs> I'll handle this. I'm a commander first class in the United hey, Galaxy Starfleet. I didn't know we had a new shipment of prisoners. Beauty is to the soul, as rain is to the trees. And rain is to the trees, as beauty is to the soul. I am a commander first class in the United Galaxy Starfleet. I signaled your ship to identify yourself. You did not. I am willing to grovel. What is it that they should call you? I am Ficus Pandorata. I am a Vegeton. You certainly are. As I was saying, it was my duty to check on you myself. I demand the release of my crew and my ship under Article 5, Section 7 of the United Agreed Statutes. You dare demand of me? Throw these people in the prison chamber. Prison? Never. I'd rather die. Gene. You'd rather die? Yeah, we all would. Gene, don't help. No Gorgon's gonna throw me in prison. Anyone who tries, I'll rip his kneecaps off. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean that. Violence is, is not the answer to man's problems. That man confuses me. Kill him. No, wait, please. You don't understand. <laughs> She's a transmute. Uh, I, I promise if you spare his life, she won't bother you anymore. Emperor Zorgon, Emperor Zorgon, Emperor Zorgon, can I be on your side? Death. Spare the transmute. 
I don't want to upset the vegetar. Oh, very well. I never can refuse my daughter. For now, libido. Clark, you'll remain here. Take the others to the prison chambers. Thank you. I, I think you'll find I, I, I relate well in group situations. <laughs> I'll sign it, thanks. Believe me, I'll sign it. Okay. What? No, Dink, don't be silly. Everybody can't be six feet tall. <laughs> Going bald? No, believe me, you're not even thinning. <laughs> Look, Dink, if it's about your emotional traumas, I don't want to hear about it. The head almost fired me just now. What? Quark has disappeared. We can't disappear. We got the finest technology in the galaxy. And listen... If the head finds out about this, we could be back in the mines faster than the greased quasi-norm. What do you mean you don't know you know? Will you just go find Quark, please? Will you just go find him? Come on, move out there. Move along. Quark, where are you? anything else in the universe except of course the universe itself this surprises you no no she had to get that rhythm from someone <laughs> uh, sorgon i don't see any reason for my crew and me to be delayed any further quark i like you quark people like to gossip but they don't know the real emperor sorgon Ask me what my dream is. Ask me. What's your dream? To be absolute dictator of the entire universe. <laughs> what? Do you say I was mad? No. Yes. No. No. Oh, I. Uh, you're very goal-oriented. You know what the others say? They say that I dwell too much on torture and murder. They say that I killed for the joy of it. They say I wipe out whole civilizations at the touch of a button. Are they right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Starner, whoever they are, they know what they're talking about. We gotta get out of this pit. I'm telling you, I can't take it anymore. Spike, what's happening? It would appear the walls are closing in upon us. Hey, I don't want to be crushed. Being crushed is bad for my future. Spike, we gotta do something. I'm telling you, we... You don't care, do you? You never really care, do you? Interesting you should ask that, Gene. You see, as a vegeton, I remain cool and crisp even while being crushed by walls. Yeah, well, you ain't gonna remain cool and crisp at least turn you into a salad. Come on, Andy. Give my me life is flashing before me. I'd love to see a beautiful meteor shower, the moons rising over Nova, the lovely rainbow hues of the rings around Felix. Zorgon, I demand the immediate release of my ship. I like you, Quark. You remind me a lot of me when I was your age. Now, you tell me where it is, and I'll let you go. Where what is? I can play games too, Quark. Where is it? It? Perhaps this will refresh your memory. What are you doing? Where is it? Where is what? It. 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 What is it? Whoever once sent you to fetch it, didn't they? You're an undercover agent. I'm on a garbage run. <laughs> you lie. You're an agent. Where is it? Uh, you've got to stop those walls. Not the last time, Cork. Where is it? I, I swear, I don't have any idea what it is. Turn off your walls! Will you tell me where it is? I'll tell. Very well, then. Wait now, Quark. Where is it? It. It is on Asteroid Rumbar. Asteroid Rumbar? Are you sure? Believe me, it's there. Because if it isn't Quark, you shall die. 
the world premiere talk show that's as bad as you want to be. You know that life sucks after 18? You know that? After Drive, weeknights at 9.30 on CTV. Don't put out the lights till you put on the night watch. Oxy Night Watch works all night to unclog pores and help prevent pimples. So don't put out the lights till you put on the night watch. Don't end up with rags. Start with Era Plus with built-in stain removers to get many stains out on the very first try. It's Era Plus or else. Bending question you can expect from Clash. How many wedgies were you personally responsible for in high school? Oh, Clash. Weeknights at 7 on CTV.